me but it's sad. game time. So all right, it is game time, and we're not. Oh, again, Yay. we're not going to do moral quandary today, Susan. I'm having such Those a Those of you, time. please write in. Kathy loves moral quandary. Let's bring it back. But today, instead, we're going to let our listeners get to know us better. I think the listeners will be happy about that. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to switch off reading each of the questions, and we'll both give our answers. All right, are you ready? Yes, I am. All right. When you were a kid, what was your dream job? Okay, I know mine. What? I wanted to be a model and a flight attendant when I was young. And really? I did both, actually. <laughs> you know what I wanted to be when I was a kid? What? A broadcast journalist. I wanted to have, you know. The, when be you were a little kid, you knew? Yeah, that? I just okay. always just really wanted to have that microphone in my hand and doing it. I did. And you were made for it, Kathy. You really were. Oh, okay, what error? slash time of your life do you remember fondly, but you're glad you're past? <sighs> An answer could be like college. It was really fun, but you're so glad that you're not stressed out 19 year old anymore or grade school, middle school, high school. What era of your life do you remember fondly? Like you, okay, you ready? I know what mine you, is. Uh, well, I can tell you what mine is. And then you can. I love being a mom. And I, I would have had. you're saying this. Mine was parenting. The, it's, <laughs> oh, my gosh. We are like. We are. I love raising kids. But I now, I don't like giving my grandchildren back. But it's not my, you know, it's a heavy yeah, responsibility well, to raise children. And now I just get to give them cookies at. Not really. I don't do that. Um, <laughs> but but I yeah, parenting yeah. is tough. Although, uh, come on, Susan, you and I both are still parents to our children. Oh, you oh, never stop oh, being a but parent. But, you know, in the, the back to school night and filling out the papers and all that. Error, what, oh, gosh, How about signing the sure homework? The homework was done. And do you remember signing the homework? Packing the lunches. Yes. Have you practiced your piano yet today? <laughs> Have you done your math homework? Did you do the corrections on your spelling test? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Next oh, one. What is something about you that has changed the most since your 20s? My attitude. <laughs> 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 my body, Dude, my attitude. Tell me more. <laughs> I was going to say my body, what, but tell me about your attitude. Oh, totally different attitude. Which Although is? Some of it is still quite the same, though. Well, you know, I always thought I'm invincible. You know, it's, I, I believe in the dream, and that part of the attitude is still the same. Yeah. Um, I was more carefree, and now I'm more careful. Oh, the hell you are. Believe Susan not, Knowles. Yeah, I was way worse than this. Oh, dear God. <laughs> you're lucky you're alive and breathing. If, if this is you, if this is you more controlled. Oh, he's um, How about I would, you? Oh, I would. There's two things. My okay. body, because I was a lot well, bigger yeah. girl back in the day. Um, but I also think I'm a lot more confident now than I was, even though I was married in my 20s. I got married, folks, when I... 10 days after I turned 20, I walked wow. down the aisle. That's so I, it was very young. I didn't feel young at the time. I chose well, but I was very young. Um, so, I, but I just think I'm more but confident so much now. much changes from your 20s. You mature. I mean, that's, it, it, your brain expands. You know, you learn. How so old were you things. when you got married? I was late, uh, mid 27. 27. 27, yeah. 20, yeah. I mean, who rem if we're being honest, who remembers remember their 20s? <laughs> <I know. laughs> but right. the confidence part came later in life. Yeah. I always had some, but second guessed everything. You know? Yeah. Uh, we don't second guess. As we don't have time, Susan. No. We don't have time to second guess. Take it, go with it, and run. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. All right. Uh, What's a hobby you've always wanted to try but never got into? A hobby? A hobby. Do you have hobbies? Yeah, I needlepoint. I right, bake. A hobby. You don't have a hobby? I don't know. 
like a hobby is playing golf. That's a sport that I like to do. That's a hobby playing golf. But I did we get both... into it. So what? What would? Okay, well, you're, you're going to laugh. A hobby. I think of people going to like ceramic classes. <laughs> that could be a hobby. <laughs> but I never. Wanted to I do took it. a ceramic class once. Oh my god! I couldn't believe when you put in the kiln, it didn't come out anything looking like I yeah, painted right. it. I Nothing. would want to make like the stuff I saw in Venice. You know? Yeah. <laughs> the blown yeah. glass. Not, yeah, <laughs> not happening. Um, I I don't think it's called a hobby, but something I always wanted to do and was really hoping, hope the producers are listening from The Golden Bachelor. <laughs> do you know what I really wanted to do? What? Host I wanted show? to go skydiving. <gasps> I would love that too. I really wanted That's to not try. a hobby either. Well, it is if you do it regularly. Well, I guess it could be. Mm -hmm. I mean, why not, right? Mm -hmm. I think I'd be scared to death, but it's one of those things I'd love to do, conquer my fear and, Did you I? know, do it in tandem. I would love to do it. All right. Oh, boy. Who was your favorite band or artist when you were in high school? Did I have a favorite? Uh, Led Zeppelin. I was I mean, a rocker. The Beatles. Did you like the Beatles? Yeah, I liked, I liked all kinds. I liked Simon and Garfunkel. I tended, I didn't like the hard rock stuff as much. Uh, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin. Yes. You know who else? The you Holman know who Brothers. I loved? The Moody Blues. Blues, I love the blues. No, the Moody. Oh, no. Oh, dear Lord. Susan, the group, yes. the Moody Blues. The Moody Blues. I Do you know. remember them? Yes. Oh, great music. I, did. I was a big, big music person, though. I, I was, too. What I listened to What were you like as a kid, Kathy? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start there. Tell what you I, remember that you were oh, like Oh, I totally remember. Um, I was a kid who was the last of five until my parents were divorced. And then I gained a nine year younger brother. You know, he was born nine mm -hmm. years after I was uh, around. And then I gained a stepsister. So I was kind of the kid vying for attention because I wasn't the oldest. I wasn't the prettiest. You know, I was just, I was just trying to get someone to notice me. I was the oldest, what about you? the first of five. Oh, you're the princess. And my, I was the first girl and my grandmother had all brothers and then three sons. So I was the first grandchild and oh. I was a girl. Need I say more? I was <laughs> very active. Um, oh, I was very show for my Wait, family. were you athletic? Were you athletic? I was a gymnast. Yes. And a dancer, but I was, I liked attention. I would make people laugh even young. I put on yeah. little shows in my house. <laughs> really? I forgot about that. I was an athlete. I was always like I played varsity tennis um, my sophomore year in high school, which nobody made varsity. Um, I played, I was always in grade school and middle school. I was a cheerleader and I was picked yeah, I was always one of the first too. girls to be picked for, you know, for the kickball team or the right. softball. I <laughs> loved athletics, but in loved school it. I got good grades and I would fail conduct. Why? <laughs> Cause bachelor was, nation. Are, you, are any of mother, you surprised? Susan likes to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was the class clown. I won most humorous, you know, at the Halloween uh, party, funniest. Um, <laughs> do you think I got good conduct grades? Uh, you don't? No, because you like to talk. You like to tell people how to oh, do it. Oh, not not in school, honey. No? I had E for excellent. Oh, I wow. no, oh Excuse no no me, no. Miss my mother, my mother, my real mother would uh -huh. have taken a board and whacked me <laughs> if I'd come home with that. Oh no, I was very. I think that's why at home I was so chatty, Kathy, because of school. <laughs> Ornery. Yeah. Well. All right. All right. Go ahead. Who was someone that really inspired you when you were young? Mm, inspired me. I mean, this is. You know what this sounds like? What. It sounds like the question you get on a college I know. Who essay. Inspired like me? everyone always says the grandmother or the grandfather or the father or their mother. You know, it's I my want dad, but it wasn't inspired. I just listen. I think one of my mom's friends. Really? Yeah. I can I tell used you. to love how Why? she dressed. My aunt Chicky, my mother's sister. Like Do you know I have a cousin like Chicky? Twelve inch waist her whole life, you know. You know, cousin Donald, well, her mom, Chicky. Okay. And I do. Do you hear me? I have a cousin, Chicky. Oh yeah, you've told me that before. It's I wild. Think. But I think she inspired me because 
she was a single parent, number one, she worked and she always dressed so cool, like when she would come over and I was very inspired by her. Interesting. I think aside from my <clears throat> grandparents and, and my dad, I would have to say um, it was a college counselor that I met when I was eight years old. I still talk to them. Um, she made me believe in myself. She made me believe I could do nice. anything. She nice. taught me how to swim. She taught me about poetry. She taught me about books and reading. She just, That's awesome. yeah, she's, she's a very cool one. Mary, okay. if you're listening, if you could go beautiful. back to any age for one week, what <sighs> age would it be? And why? Who cares? It's only a week. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think it would be my late 30s, right? Hitting 40, yeah. You know what my week would be? Hmm. I want to know why, but it just really hit me hard. Hmm. I would go back to the week of my wedding and I would love to relive it and, and see That's it all Kevin. from the perspective I have now. My why Why would you go back opposite. to your 30s? Because I would have done something that I didn't do for hmm, 20 plus more years, not 20. Yeah. I would have. Well, I'm going to ask you what the hell decision. is that? I would have made a decision, a big decision in my life because at that age I knew I wasn't happy in my marriage, but I oh. stayed for my children. Oh. Which, and I think it, things could have been different. So if I got to do it over again, that's the week I would change. I guess. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's big. You know, that takes a lot yeah. to admit that. Um, okay. What's a memory from your teens that still makes you laugh to this day? <laughs> <laughs> I was such an idiot. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> it makes me laugh. Oh gosh. I made everybody laugh, but a memory from my teens thinking I could get away with shit, Kathy. Like I was <laughs> forbidden near Billy Patterson and he had a big Harley and he was four years older than me. So at that, I was a teenager. My mother was like, you are forbidden. And I would go out with him and sneak. <laughs> of course, he'd pick me up somewhere else and he would drop me off like across the street behind the houses, like that alleyway that we walked through. Yeah. And I'd run through the little alley into my front door like nobody knows. And he would come down my street and rev up the Harley. And my father and mother would just look at me like, you dumb, stupid girl. <laughs> and they go, you so, were with him. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. <laughs> so Bachelor Nation, Susan has a tendency to lie. We hope she's outgrown it. <laughs> I don't know. I um, My teens were so not bad. my uh, my you know bestest time. Uh, I struggled a bit. I, I really can't. I mean, I love to laugh and I, I did laugh a lot, but picking out one thing, um, only I thing I, hundred. well, I can name one. I can name one. I think I've told you the story before. My parents took us to the Bahamas and uh, there were, you know, imagine there were five of us, whatever. And my dad said, hey, let's sneak you into the casino. And remember, Miss Little Do Right Me was yeah. like, Dad, I was 16. I had a 17-year-old sister, an 18-year-old stepsister, and a 19-year-old sister. So the four of us were going into the casino. Do you know? It's we all, I, we weren't allowed. The age was 18, to be fair. It was not yeah. 20. Oh, no. Uh no, I think it was 18. Anyway, guess who was the only one who didn't get thrown out? You. Uh-huh. And I was why? the youngest. I don't know. I had on a... a they didn't bar see you. That's why. <laughs> oh, no. I was plenty large. No, I think it was just that I, you know, acted like so stiff. I wasn't... La I laughed after the fact, but uh, I was very serious. Like, I have to pretend <laughs> I'm old here. <laughs> one Another good memory. And I was a teenager. We were... I went to an all girls Catholic high school and we were cheerleaders for the all boys Catholic high school. We were going out for the homecoming queen and I was only a junior. And I remember having to stand on the stage and that they would question us, give us questions. And they said to me, how does the Catholic high school influence you? And I stood there dumb and I went, uh, it keeps me away from the boys. Well, <laughs> The, the nuns, the priests, everybody went crazy. 
I didn't know what to think. And and not only that, Father I was her in that year, first junior ever. Really? I, I yeah, was going to say, that Father, forgive her, for she knows not what she <laughs> says. There's no way in hell, Susan, you hysterical. you are kept away you from the boys. Can't shit up, God. I can't. I just can't. All right, moving on. All right. Along. The next one is, what's a fashion or beauty trend you followed in the past that you regret looking back? I've got that one so easily. Okay, what is it? My hair, you know, I've got this fluffy hair. Yeah. And and it's really hard to control. Right. I mean, it's straight because I, I don't know it. about now, your hair. Kevin. I know you do. <laughs> But when I was in the 80s, I thought it would be a really cute look to have a perm oh, in my hair. Oh, had perm. Oh, no. But my perm with my fluffy hair, I look like Shirley Temple rolled out of bed on a bad hair day. I used to give Dickie perms. It oh, was an error. Yes. It was such a bad look. And I look back on pictures now and my, and my daughter, you know, in the family album, my daughter right. says, Mom, what the hell were you thinking? I said, Caitlin, in 20 years, you're going to look back at your pictures and I'm going to say to you, what the hell were you thinking? It's called time. But oh, it was a bad That's look. Funny. It was a bad look. All right. Culturally, what was your favorite decade that you lived through and why? Well, hippie. I like being a hippie. Loved being a hippie. Did you wear the bell bottoms? I didn't live through Woodstock. I, I mean, I was too young to go, but that was like my favorite. Would your parents have let you go to Woodstock? No. Hell no. Of course not. They would have let they you let you go into the Catholic girls' they version, which means, to go, but they were which means going kids. to the bottom of the church singing Row, Row, Row Your Boat with a bunch of girls <laughs> roasting marshmallows. What was um, your favorite I, decade? Well, culturally got me, the word culturally. Um, I would have to say... The decade, probably in my 20s, believe it or not, because I lived in when I was first married, I lived in Scotland for two years and I loved trying the food and meeting the people and just all the, you know, driving on the wrong side of the street, all the things I learned about living in a foreign country. And then later in my 20s, um, we moved back to Boston so my husband could go to graduate school. And I was close to you were all awfully the young to do all that travel. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was fun. Mm -hmm. And we we got to travel to the continent when we lived in Scotland. But then we moved back to Boston. I loved all the museums and the, you know, just just the city life of Boston. It was kind of cool. You, I got to do a lot of things, even though that's I grew nice. up in Boston. I, I didn't go into the city that much. I grew up in right. the suburbs. Yeah. So that was, I don't know. That's what I think. Cool. All right. What's something that exists today that you wish you had as a teenager? For example, Netflix, cell phones. What's something I wish we had computers because that encyclopedia would drive me crazy when I had to look up stuff. <laughs> oh, you know what? I, I didn't know how I was going to answer that, but because I'm sort of with you, all the technology that we yes. have, but I think my favorite, te well, you know, I can't live without my phone. So that's a given, okay. but I, you know what else I, I love to read, as you know, mm -hmm. and um, I used to walk around with books, like heavy books, because I, you know, if I had 10 minutes spare, I would sit and read. Mm -hmm. um, so I, my Kindle, my reading, you know, uh, that I can yeah, read. I bad. love it. It just pop it in my purse and I can, Good I read, I, I, but all of technology would be tough. And of course, you know, I grew up with black, I'm not kidding. We got color TV. I don't know how old I, I was. I remember maybe. when the color TV came, we had black and white for a while. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, just think about how far we've come. It's What's ridiculous. one thing about you, Kathy, that's never changed and reminds you of your younger self. Easy. My sense of humor, my sense of humor, my Ooh. gift of gab, my yeah. silliness. Yeah. I'll yeah. My, my talk, my, my propensity to talk all the time, but also right. just laughing and making other people laugh. Well, I hope everybody did get to know a little bit more about us. Do you think we shared enough with them? Uh, I don't know. Class you know clown, what? You're funny. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> if you want, if you want more information about don't us, don't do a perm. <laughs> don't oh, do not do a perm. <laughs> Write in. And if there's other things you want to know about us, go to bachelornation.com slash yeah, golden hour and write your questions, right? And we'll, we'll answer you. them honestly, we'll even if it's embarrassing, we'll definitely ask, <laughs> I mean, answer them.